Hey everybody, it's Schwalbe here, and today I am revisiting my how-to sticker removal. And uh, there's been a lot of comments over the past three years, and what I always have suggested is using WD-40. And there's a lot of comments. In fact, the number one response is to try coconut oil. So we're gonna do that today as well. Now out of fun, um, I have heard of using uh, soda to clean, so I have some of that. I have grabbed some PB Blaster, so we're gonna use some of that. And another comment was, uh, try using an eraser to, uh, to erase it off. So uh, without any further ado, let's see how those five things work on removing sticker residue. Okay, on this uh, panel, we have four spots that have caked on residue uh, from stickers and whatnot. So for this first test, we'll go ahead and use this pencil. Now I'm not doing anything special with it. I'm just trying to pencil away like I would a, a piece of paper. And from what I can tell, this pencil is having absolutely zero effect. So a pencil eraser is a dud. Okay, now for the next one, let's go ahead and do the coconut oil. Now in the comments, it said, put the coconut oil on for about 30 seconds and it should come right off. So we'll go ahead and apply with this cotton swab. It's been about 30 seconds now. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this uh, wiped off. Well, it's definitely feeling a little bit, I, I can feel the, the stickiness of it. So I'm going to apply this once more and we'll let it sit there for a while, about the 10 minutes, the same amount of time that I'm going to apply the WD-40. Let's go ahead and apply the PB Blaster. We'll go ahead and put some in the cup. We'll go ahead and apply ever so gently. All right, we've got our PB Blaster there. This WD-40 is kind of clear as opposed to the PB Blaster being orange. And last but not least, let's grab some Polar Pop. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. All right, so let's go ahead and get that colon here. This happens to be Cherry Pepsi. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. So now we have all four of these soaking. It has now been 10 minutes, and... Uh, if we take a look at this, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but the gumminess on here definitely has, uh, I, I can scratch it with my fingernail and it comes off pretty easily. Up here is the PB Blaster. And I can scrape on it, but it's, we'll have to see how well it comes off. The PB Blaster is, has, pretty well evaporated. The WD-40, I have to work at it a little bit right now, but it's coming off. It's not evaporated though. And the soda, actually, <laughs> at least part of it came off just now with, with the fingernail. This is the coconut oil and it's definitely coming off. I had high hopes for the PB Blaster in all honesty. And it doesn't seem like it wants to come off all that well. Now let's come over here to WD-40. And it honestly is reacting very, very similar to the PB Blaster. It's not doing a whole lot. And now for the cola. Well, the cola did the, the least. 
So let's go ahead and, and zoom in a little bit here. So without any additional, this one is going to be the coconut oil. This one's PB Blaster. This one is WD-40. And this one is the, uh, the Pepsi, the, the Cherry Pepsi. Okay, so this is the final product. Um, after a couple hours of soaking on the adhesive spots, it came up without too much difficulty. I think it turned out great. I then cleaned the surface of the screen. So you can see here, no residue. And it's true for this other side as well. And this was a, a combination of the WD-40 as well as uh, coconut oil. Okay, so here's the rundown. In dead last place, not having done anything is the pencil eraser. That, that's worthless. PB Blaster did okay. Honestly, I would say that the, uh, that the Pepsi did slightly better um, in the test here than the PB Blaster. And then what seemed to be really, really good is a combination between uh, WD-40 and the coconut oil. There you go. If you want to take a, uh, a sticker off and you have coconut oil or WD-40, either should do just fine for you. It's really about how you apply it and uh, how much time you let it soak in and, and get underneath that adhesive. Well, thank you so very much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job and that I should keep making these videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.